Hello everyone and welcome to the new studio here in Las Vegas and welcome to the workshop. It's exciting times, we're going to be doing lots of building in here, we're going to be doing lots of unboxing, something that I've been wanting to do for over a year now, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and like this video, let me know if you like it down in the comments below, all that kind of stuff because we're going to have a lot of fun today. I'm really excited to do this for the first time and we got a couple more of these coming over the next few weeks. As I've been building out the studio here, there's a lot of stuff to unbox, there's a lot of new elements we're adding to, this, to the studio. We've got a nice overhead camera shot. Uh, that you guys can get a top-down view of any builds that we do and any unboxing. So we're going to use that today, and I'll show you guys how some of that stuff works. But for this video, it's it's kind of special because it involves something that I've been waiting over a year to get my hands on, and it's these mounting products from Elgato, more famously known for the Stream Deck and their microphone, the Wave 1 and Wave 3 and things like that. But they also have a pretty awesome, pretty unique mounting system that all works together in some interesting ways. My overhead camera is actually set up on one of these rigs right now so you guys are going to get to to see how all of it comes together i'm going to put it together for you right here in the video so you can see uh, how it all comes together there's two pieces to this there is the master mount l i'm assuming that stands for long because they've got an s version as well and then you've got the flex mount or flex arm, excuse me, L, which is also, I'm assuming, stands for long, but we'll find that out. Uh, we're going to do the master mount first because the most common thing that people need is a way to mount stuff to their desk. Especially accelerated over the last couple of years with the pandemic, we've needed ways to put up webcams or key lights or anything that looks better than just staring at your MacBook Pro screen, right? These were first unveiled or exposed to me when I got their key light system. This key light right here that it, I can adjust temperature and all kinds kinds of stuff with it. Uh, brightness and things like that. It has a standard quarter 20 mount on the bottom of the light fixture. Well, what does that mean? Well, the industry standard for all tripods and all mounting devices, uh, screw size is quarter inch 20. The beauty of this is the key lights each come with one of these master mounts. If you think about it, that opens up all kinds of possibilities because now you can have one of these master mounts to mount a camera on, to mount other devices, things that you would normally put on a tripod. I'll hold that up there. You guys can kind of see what that looks like. It swivels. It's got complete 360 degree any angle kind of motion and it telescopes. Oh, if I can get it, there it goes. All the way out. Six to seven feet long, fully extended. I'm going to put this into practice here in just a second, but not before we get the other one uh, out and show you guys what that one looks like. There we go. I was screwing it the wrong way. That's right. Come on. There we go. But collapsed, you can see here where it slips in into your the lip of your desk. So you can adjust that to, regardless of how thick your tabletop might be. It will adjust it as a, just a screw in clamp. It's got a quick release here. So if you're in a tight space, you can kind of ratchet it around. Pretty cool. And I believe these guys go for $89.99 for these. They're worth their weight in gold. If you're doing any kind of content creation, if you're doing a cooking stream and you need something to mount to the countertops or the island or anything like that, these are absolutely worth their weight in gold. I now own four of them, just the clamping piece. And for most of you, this is all you're going to need. However, let's set that one aside for a moment and talk about the add-on that you can get for it called the flex arm. What is the flex arm? Well, it's mostly nothing without a master mount or one of their wall mounts, which are still out of stock and I have still been unable to get them since they announced them. The flex arm is a collection of different lengths of extensions basically for the master mount. So you've got a long extension, you've got a medium extension, and it comes with two of these small extensions. Hmm, are your gears turning yet? What could we do with that? That could be a lot of fun. Well, let me show you. If you unscrew on the master mount, the this little clamp that's on the top, let me just sit this down and we'll do this properly. This little ball will come out on top of it it's kind of like a little slip joint. And on the top, you can see that it's got a quarter 20 and it's got a little rubber grommet there so you don't tear everything up. But we'll set that aside for the moment. We can replace that ball mount with the exact same ball mount that's on one of the arms. See where this is going? So now, instead of having that there, you simply connect that ball mount into the flex arm and on top of your master mount, being able to telescope all the way out like that, now you've got an extension. The fun doesn't stop there. Let's keep going. You can do all of this. We'll, we'll do the medium one next. And these are just little quick connect ball joints, slip joints with a kind of a clamp that goes around them. And then we'll do the next one, right? Let's keep going. Let's keep doing this. Cause we're gonna put this together in practice here in just a second. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Screw that one together. And then finally, we'll take the last little extension here, slip that one in there, 
and screw that down. But we're not done yet. We've got one more thing to do. Do you remember what we took off of the master mount? The actual quarter 20 ball head screw, right? Now we put that one in the very top or whatever at the end of any extension that you decide to use. You may only need one small extension, create an overhead shot or to angle your camera a different way. And now look what we've got. You know what, for giggles, this is my exact camera that I use. It's a Canon HRF 800, or no, HFR 800. But I've got this long spaghetti monster now of the telescoping part and the extensions that can all articulate in any way. However, if I wanted to actually attach something to this, I'll take my standard quarter 20 that's on the bottom of my camera and I can just screw that into my camera and now angle my camera. So let's put this into practice. Let's close it all out. So now I can take, mount this to the desk with the clamp, hands free, swing it around and you can articulate these arms any way you see fit. So if I wanted to, cause they're just simple little ball joints. So if I wanted to set up a camera right here, I could just put it in the position I want it to be in, start locking down all the screws, all the joints and voila. So there you go, folks, for the price of about 150 US dollars, I believe is what it is. You can get the master mount, which totally works on its own. That's really all most of you are gonna need. But if you're an enthusiast and you need some trick shots, some different angles and overheads, or you have some lights that you need to put up really high, these extensions are, I believe, 49.99 US and you can just combine the two of them and pretty much make whatever you want to. Keep an eye out as well for the wall mounts. The Flex Arm Kit also works with the wall mounts. It has the same kind of interlocking system. There it is, guys, the Elgato Flex Arm alongside the master mount for mounting any of your accessories. Uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you like these kinds of unboxings and walkthroughs and reviews and things like that, because I want to make a lot more of them. We got a lot of stuff to build and a lot of stuff to unbox. I can't wait till we get over here and get back to uh, Mega PC, get that building. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos coming very soon. Take care.